first at 10 tonight. Police are searching for Fox 12's most wanted after they say a man groped a teenager at a bus stop in southeast Portland. This happened this morning in the Richmond neighborhood, and police tell us someone who saw it happen rushed over to help the girl. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom joins us now live from the Fox 12 mobile newsroom with the very latest on this. Jeffrey. Hey, Nora. Hey, Pete. Police say it happened while the 15-year-old was waiting for the bus, and the suspect prevented her from getting away. Now, earlier on today, we talked with people who ride the bus, and they tell us that it's encounters like this. They're the reason why they stay on their toes. I feel like you're a sitting duck. Connie says she's used public transportation all over the world and says getting around in Portland worries her more than most places. And the only place that I have not felt safe on, like, the, the trolleys, the max trains, is here in Portland. On board, however, isn't the only place she says she's on edge. This neighborhood is fairly safe, but it's gotten a lot worse. We caught up with her not far from a bus stop where police say a man groped a 15-year-old girl Monday morning. This terrifying encounter goes hand in hand with concerns she has around area bus stops. I don't really feel secure uh, walking to and from the bus stop early in the morning and I'm always afraid that I will be standing alone at a bus stop and I won't be able to de-escalate the situation. It was in broad daylight at this bus stop where the 15-year-old girl was attacked. And while she struggled, she just couldn't get away. And it was actually thanks to a passing by car who saw the crime taking place, stopped, intervened, and helped the girl to escape. As for Connie, she says staying safe is all about being mindful of your surroundings and not letting your guard down. I am very aware of where I am and who is around me at all times, absolutely. And I walk very fast and I look like I know where I'm going. Police are still looking for the man described as being five foot eight inches tall with tan skin, silver hair and a white stubbly beard. And they encourage anybody with any information at all to go ahead and reach out. Live in the mobile newsroom, I'm Jeffrey Lindblom for Fox 12 Oregon.